We freaking got him, baby. Max Scherzer, he's coming to Queens. Man, the Mets, we finally have something good going for us. It's been a long, long time in the making. Man, Max Scherzer, I mean, what else can you say? Arguably the best pitcher from 2013, you know, on. And then DeGrom, the best since 2018. Now, back-to-back -back in the New York Mets starting rotation. Hey, y'all, it's Nick for Undefeated Productions, and welcome to another video. And this one, as you can tell, I'm a Mets fan, and I am absolutely stoked. We got Max Scherzer. We got some other moves that I'll talk about in another video. But in this one, we're talking about Bad Max, man. Three-year, $130 million deal. He has a uh, opt-out after the second year, which guarantees him, I believe, 86 point something million dollars. And he can leave with 43.3 million left on the table. 43 million against the luxury tax. It now puts us at about 267 million dollars against the uh, tax. Steve Cohen, man, he, he was not lying when he said we've got resources and we've got resources to spend. I mean, he also mentioned last offseason that they're going to go past the luxury tax. They're going to blow right past it. Clearly. That's what they're doing. We got the the best one two in all of baseball. I mean, it was good. It was top line one two in baseball with uh, Degrom and Syndergaard. Syndergaard, of course, walked. That pissed them off. Steven Matz walked. That pissed them off. Gosman, he let he didn't sign with the Mets. That really pissed them off. Ever since last night, I have been refreshing Twitter nonstop. I mean, Max Scherzer, get a load of these stats at age thirty six. He put up his lowest ERA of his career at 2.46 in 30 games. 179 in the third innings pitched, 236 strikeouts to a league-best .864 whip. Career Scherzer, 67.1 war, three-time Cy Young Award winner, an all-star since 2013 on 3.16 ERA, 3,000 strikeouts in 2,536 innings, a whip slightly over one at 1.084. I mean, man, what can I say? Max freaking Scherzer. I mean, you're talking about one of the best pitchers of the generation. Like I said, DeGrom, DeGrom's probably been the best pitcher since 2018 on. DeGrom is absolutely unreal. You add Max Scherzer, arguably the best pitcher from 2013, and we're not done yet. I mean, you're talking about a team that is still needs one more hole in the rotation. Can you imagine if they went out and like, oh yeah, Kershaw, you want to come out here? I Now, I highly doubt it. Again, I would love it. I highly doubt it. Then we have more, the, the best pitcher in the National League in 2014 and 13. You want, Kershaw won an MVP. You know, like we're talking about arguably one of the best rotations of all time if we get Kershaw. We got Carlos Carrasco, hello. You know, he had a low three ERA in the shortened season, of course, injured last year. You know, Carrasco's been very underrated. We got Taiwan Walker, who was an all-star in the first half. So, I mean, this Mets rotation is stacked up to be phenomenal. I mean, I, I'm ecstatic, you know. And, and the reports I'm seeing on Twitter, we still got money to spend. You know, Javier Baez, I think that has to be a top priority for the Mets. You know, they have this whole lot second base. Yes, they can slot McNeil there. They can slot Robinson Cano there. But you look at this lineup, you get Baez, that lineup is now top. You have only one power bat in Pete Alonso in there right now. Mark Canna, Eduardo Escobar, they're solid. They're not that power bat. Javier Baez, if he plays like he did in, in the last two months of the season with the Mets... He will be an all-star again. I mean, what Javier did with the Mets was just redefine his approach, re just figured out his swing, working with Lindor. That gives us a gold glove up the middle and uh, defense up the middle. I mean, that's what you need. You know, this is going to help. The Mets are good. If they get bias, they got to think of it as an investment in pitching. Then they can get someone like Alex Cobb, Yusei Kikuchi, that are ground ball pitchers, or Stroman even. I don't really want Stroman. You see what's going on on Twitter. That's not very interesting to me. But you get someone, that, you get that defense up the middle, less errors, more outs. They got range. And more outs means a lower ERA, right? the better your pitchers play. And that's ultimately a big thing. You got to go out there and get hobby buys in my eyes. That should be their next move. Let me know what y'all think. Of course, Max Scherzer. I mean, he's revolutionary. The Mets have to be, you know, approaching World Series favorites. They're like one or two moves away from passing the Dodgers in my eyes. They need another pitcher. They need Baez. And they need a solid reliever. 
they get those th three things with all those minor moves, oh boy, they're a dangerous team. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Hit that like button and subscribe. Come back later for another video, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Let's go Mets.